Oh. 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 God, my head. Oh, finally you're awake. Jeez, took like two months. What? Two months? Two months? What? What happened? Oh. Uh. Yeah. Uh. You kind of. Got for very bad frostbite and started hallucinating, and uh, you became unconscious because of the extreme cold weather. What date is it? Oh, that's uh, um, I think. Hold on. Yes, guys, in real life right now. I am checking the date. It's March 6, 2023. 2023? It's 2023? Yeah. It hasn't been two months. It's been like five. Oh. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm horrible at math. Then. But aren't you an artificial intelligence? <sighs> Never mind. Where are we? Whoa, spinning chop, I think I can answer that question. Ow, what the hell? Oh, 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 okay, never mind. I was kind of scared. Whenever I see a purple figure, it makes me very scared. I'm not even going to ask. Anyways, um, <laughs> welcome to the Ford Looms. The Ford Room. Listen, I did not make the name. It, Bonnie made the name. Bonnie. Bonnie made the fu- What are you talking about? Have you ever heard of the back rooms? Yeah, I've heard of the back rooms before. Well, basically, the Ford Looms is literally the back rooms. It's just very different. And how so? Basically, the Ford Looms allows you to... Uh, travel through any any timeline, any universe, any multiverse, anything. It can let you travel, basically. Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, VR, VR Toy Freddy. Uh, can you tell him about the, you know, the thing? What thing? Oh, oh yeah. Okay, spinning trap. So uh, we found something, and we think it has to do with something that might help us in the future to stop Mario. Stop Mario? I mean, I'm up for anything. What's up? Come follow me down to my lab. I'm going to go too because I really want to see your reaction. Okay. Why is there just some random keys in here? I'm not even going to ask. Why would I ask? It makes no sense. All right. Splint Trap, welcome to the lab of me. Because I have. I, I, I go back and. Uh, nice. What? Well, what's the point of this? It's just to show you all the things that we researched while those five months were going by. Look it. Hi, Spring Trap. What is he doing here? Um, we don't know. <sighs> I got this. Hey man, what you think you're doing? <laughs> yeah, we we tried to get him from not coming here into the forward rooms, but he he ended up doing it anyways. Okay, I have a question. Why is everything here look like you know, like the normal world? Well, we actually don't know, but our running go theory is is that in the forward rooms, it basically takes everything from our world and just adds a couple of different things to it. Why did your accent go away for a second? Oh, anyways, I have no idea what you're talking about. Why is the camera cutting out random? I don't know. Maybe it should stop. No. Okay. Anyways. Is that my controller? I made that! Oh yeah, we were wondering what that was. We didn't know that you made it. Wait, wrong camera business, you know, shoot. It has my name on the back. Oh.
Well, what's salty? It's okay. I, I, I don't really need it anymore. It's really old. What's that over there? Oh yeah, that's what we wanted to show you next. That was the big thing that we wanted to show you. First was the lab and all that. We found those things in one of your father's notes. We also found it in the blueprints. We think they're used to bring intelligent life to life. Really? Remnant and agony. Yeah, that's what he had in the book. Same way he, you know, made it. It was the same words. But we think he was also drunk because I think that word's supposed to be meant to say remnant. But we just took it on his word. That's what he was talking about when he told me to leave his office. Just making these things. What do they do? Well, we have been studying the liquids, and so far we found out that this thing can, well, bring objects to life and make them float around and move fast. And the more of, well, that's what the agony does. The more agony we put into objects, the more it moves like that and stuff. It acts like it's like being possessed by a soul. And, uh,. For some reason, every time we do it, it targets the closest living thing. We even realize that it even does the same thing to plants. And Remnant, we don't know what it does. We think that this is basically does the same thing as Agony, but the opposite, since that it behaves the opposite from Agony. Agony moves fast, while Remnant moves slow. Well, that's some better character development than last time. Yeah, um, great way to break the fourth wall, I guess. I mean, I'm, I'm getting, still getting used to that. What's that over there? Oh, yeah, that's something that we found. Red dips? What is that? That, my friend, is red dips. It's a entity that um that Bonnie and Henry found in here, and uh, ever since it's just been sitting here. You don't know any other information besides that. Hmm. Strange. Well, uh, is that it? I mean, it's kind of was boring. Yeah. Here's the things for trip. We think that Agony and Remnant can stop Mario. You see, they're really strong. Together, they make any human become powerful. Or anything powerful. We try to combine them, and they literally just were so powerful that, like, it almost, like, burnt someone's face off. So, like, we think that they can help. All we have to do is find the right host, find the right person, and maybe we can stop unfocusing. And then maybe we can use it to create unlimited power. Too much information from my head. Yeah, I was kind of fuzzed up on it too. I'm really not the smartest person. So you, you, let me, let me take this. You can't calculate months, but you can calculate what that is, and you could just inf just tell me all of it in just one setting. Yeah, basically. All right, so I'm guessing you guys were catching up on everything. Uh, I hope you um made your request well. We could use the you for a little bit of help. Yeah. I want you to go searching out for someone to to um be the host for the agony and remnant con combination. If you can, please do that. Oh yeah, why not? It's not like it's gonna hurt anything. Uh, do I have someone to help me with? Uh, we have a couple of people you can tag along with. Come on. Okay. 
Welcome, Springtrap, to the admin team. <laughs> These just look like a bunch of idiots. Well, that's not kind of nice. You know, buddy, that was a really nice idea for you to do that. You know, I may not be all serious and all, but I can get serious. I can get serious. I'm very fast. You know, I have great reflex skills. You see, my father, he was a very abusive drug addict. Get out of my face. Well, we're not all dumb. At least I'm smart. Everyone else I don't know about, though. I was very not nice. I mean... I'm kind of smart. You see, the ink demon will rule over all of us. That's my reniggling theory right now. I'm waiting for him to come. Yeah, okay, so most of you are dumb. Only two people, the rest of them are kind of smart, I guess. But why do I have to join this stupid team? And who came up with a name? Uh, I mean, they all kind of did. Uh, it was a choice between ret- Bad word. Admin, and they choose admin. Bad word. Reads bad word. Why is that getting bleeped? Uh, probably because YouTube is not going to like that. Not one bit. Yeah, I'm looking at you, YouTube. Who are you talking to? No one. In particular. John. Who's John? He's one of the admins on YouTube. He's very annoying, and I hate him. John, I will find your family, John, and when I do, I'll eat your toes, and when your toes are eaten, I'll eat your fingers, and when I eat your fingers, I'll eat your cat, if you have no cat, I'll eat your dog, if you have no dog, I'll eat your children, if you have no children, I'll eat your mother, if you have no mother anymore, then I'll eat your father, if your father wants to go get the milk, I'll eat your chicken, and I will eat your fridge, and I'll eat you. Anyways, um, besides that fact, it's pretty cool. Uh, you guys should probably go looking anytime between right now. So, let's -a go. Alright, so what's your plan anyways? You know, we don't really have a plan, buddy. We just think. We think of plans every day. Yeah, we don't really have a plan. So you're saying that you formed a team, and you don't have a plan. That's basically the sum of it. Okay, uh, drawing board. Do you guys have a drawing board or something? Used to. But, uh, let's say a simple someone ate it. It was very tasty, Batman. Not Batman. Oh, well, that's a problem. We now gotta sit here and do nothing. Nice. You know, I'm not really from this place. I'm from another universe. Another universe? What, what are you talking about? I don't know. I just kind of appeared toward one day and I just said, let me join your team, and that was kind of it. Hmm. That's nice. Anyways, we should probably not worry about that and let the, the writer and story artist and voice actor think of all this. Okay, first thing that I want to do, I think we should have some. Why are you looking at me like that? Huh? Yeah, you get on moving. Keep on going. Keep on going. Yeah. Yeah, don't look at me. I'm not doing anything wrong. It's all your fault. It's your fault, man. It's all your fault, man. It's all your Uh, the Art Toy Freddy would- Oh, God! You scared me, man! Jeez, you're about to make me mess up the sign. Uh, oh, oh, what am I doing? Uh, I'm just, uh, trying to look at this thing up close. Yeah, but it's alive. Is it gonna bite you or something? Oh, no, no, it's not. Trust me. I'm just trying to do something now. Go away so I can do this, okay? It's gonna be really, really hard for you to look at it because I, I might get bit, like I said. Oh, okay. See you later. Yeah. See you later. You know, William, when we combined our companies together, I thought we were going to fail. But you, you helped. You helped bring this company 
to a greater height than I would have ever imagined. Just, just thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, man. It wasn't my fault for this company to be good, but you, you helped. You helped overall. Anything you need, I got you.